Small Biz today. Our guest is uh, taking on the big boys, you could say, in the bottled water industry. Brian Pullman is joining me now. He's the CEO of Summit Spring Water. Uh, Brian, general question about the water business, because it's always surprised me. I mean, you have tap water. You just turn on your tap and you get water for free. So you're competing with what we can get for free. Why even be involved in the business at all? You can't get the same thing out of a tap that would come from a natural spring. There's a huge, huge difference. So we're a natural spring up in Maine where we are, very rare on a worldwide scale. When that water bubbles to the surface naturally, percolates from nature, there's no comparison to what you get out of your tap. Okay, so explain that to me a little bit because your company has such an interesting history dating all the way back to the early 1800s. Explain to us how much some of that water from the very same spring uh, would get if it was sold here in New York City. Well, the water was taken in 35-gallon uh, wooden barrels by horse-drawn carriage to the narrow-gauge railway in Norway, Maine, and shipped here to New York, sold for 40 cents a gallon in 1881, which would be about $100 a gallon today. $100 a gallon. So it must be good. Absolutely. So why? So explain then. I mean, I know it's a lot of years in between. And you've been a part of this company for how long Five now? Years, yeah. So what? What? You know, you're going from that history to now. What is? What is your strategy? Well, we have to compete with with extreme quality. Uh, pricing is not not an option for us. The big companies can bottle water for a fraction of what we can. This is a product that is rare on a worldwide scale. So we have to use the extreme quality of the product to try to get the word out. Now, one of the things that is different about your product that we might not notice, if you check out a, a, a bottled water, there's normally still a nutrition label on it, right? I mean, no calories, but there's a reason for that. And you guys don't have a nutrition label, so explain why not. Well, there's rare exemptions. If you take a product in its natural form and you don't treat it, you don't inject anything in, into it, you're not required to have a nutrition label. So if you see a nutrition label on a product, it's been touched somehow. Uh, another thing is trying to get consumers to pay attention to the label. There are, there are critical words on the label that nobody's paying attention to. You need to look for natural spring water from a single source and without a nutrition label. And so that's how, that's just an, um, uh, maybe a, a way that we could see some quality difference in the products that we might be using on a daily basis. We need to get people to actually look at the label, really pay attention. So, so what happens if the spring dries up? Well, it hasn't for all of recorded history. Since 1792, there's no recorded time it's ever, ever dried up. So uh, is there a way, then you talk about quality, but you're, you are competing with, let's say, the Coca-Colas of the world. You have the Dasani brand out there, the Aquafina mm -hmm. brand. Um, is it through distribution? Are you going to do more marketing? There's a lot of small businesses that have to compete am amongst these big guys. So what is your, your main advice? Yeah, it's tough. It's really tough. Uh, we're fighting the fight, trying to get the word out there. We don't have big marketing budgets or advertising budgets, but uh, the people that try the water can taste the difference, and uh, the word spreads pretty quickly. Do people drink less spring water during a recession? Uh, yes. I do think they really? so, because it's expensive. It's, we can't do it anywhere near the price of what you can get, even, you know, obviously tap water. So people do make some tough choices. Is that a picture of you on the screen, or is that somebody else? That's me. That's yeah. you. So is that how you drink usually well, in the we, office? Yeah, I was, that? yeah that's, we were sampling, that's straight out of the spring. We were sampling uh, some water when somebody was visiting right out of the source. I'm going to have to run, but just tell us a little bit more as you get the process of getting the water from the spring. I mean, it's not with the ladle into the bottle, no, right? No, it gravity feeds into the bottling plant. We built a bottling plant 50 feet away in the exact footprint of the old barreling building where they used to barrel the water. So it, gravity flows straight to the, bar the bottling building 50 feet away. Where's your biggest customer? Our biggest customer is actually Bates College. And what, what, is that in Maine? They're one of the, yeah, they're in, they're in uh, Lewiston. They're one of the leaders in the nation for sustainable products, and uh, they, they've been a great supporter of ours. So. And, main, and mainly domestic clients. They, yeah, we're, no, we're a Northeast, a New England-type company. I believe you are in our vending machines upstairs, just so you know. Really? The Fox business. I mean, I, it's not, it's not, that wasn't strategic, but I believe that those are the bottled water. So, so somebody planted there. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's great to have you. Appreciate it. And uh, interesting, got $100 a gallon for water. Can't even imagine that. So uh, thank you so much. Keep us up to date. And thank you. Good luck.